Hey everybody, Coach Leanne Claire here, and I get this question a lot, so I'm just going to answer it super, super quick. Should you just, you have to eat 100% clean, or can you kind of like have a treat every now and then? Well, there's a lot of different studies out there. There's a lot of different things saying one thing and another doing the other. Well, it all really depends, and if you've watched any of my other videos, if you've been in my Find Your Fit boot camp, if you, you know, train with me at all, you know that it's very specific based off your goals, based off of what you're doing, and kind of where you're at in your journey. So I'm gonna say this, this is my answer to this question. In the beginning, when you first start off, you have to be okay with making mistakes. You have to be okay with not being perfect. And I've gotten this, this isn't just on your fitness journey, this is on any type of journey. When you go and try to do something new that you've never done before, you've gotta be okay with not being perfect. And honestly, these videos aren't perfect, but I'm going for it. So same thing goes with your eating. Be okay with not being perfect. Try your best to be extreme. Try your best to be 100% clean in the beginning. However, if you slip up, get over it and move on. Go to the next one, it's okay. It's okay because you're going to figure it out. Your body's gonna get really, really acclimated to eating great food and that cycle is gonna become very, very easy. Now, if you've been in your journey for an absolute while, you're already where you're at, where you want to be, like myself. I'm totally pleased with my body, with the way my body functions, with the way my body looks. I like my curves. I like everything about my body right now. So that means that I can have a little cheat every now and then. I can enjoy something, but it's going to be planned. So a lot of people say, oh, like 90, 10 or 80, 20, if you eat good 80% of the time, if you eat good 90% of the time, well, just keep it to one meal. I used to do cheat day as well, and I realized that psychologically, it was throwing me off. It really, really messed me up. So you also have to think about how your patterns and how your plan is going to affect your thought patterns as well, how it's going to affect your confidence, how it's going to affect how you feel about yourself. So don't just think about it in terms of how your body is going to change. Think about how it's also going to change your psycho psychological patterns as well. So that's going to be different for every single person. Some people, they're an all or nothing type of person. And if they mess up just once, their entire game plan is thrown out the window. Some people are just kind of like that. And that's okay. I, I really That's the kind of person I was in the beginning, but I really just discourage it for eating healthy because the, the matter of the fact is, if you slip up, you slip up. You can't do anything about it <laughs> after after the damage is done. So get back on the horse and get back riding. Other people they're totally okay with not with just making a little bit of progress. They're okay with, okay, I've never eaten a salad before in my life. I had a salad today. I'm ten times healthier than I have ever been. Even though the rest of their day was the same as before. So in reality, when you first start, try to be as clean as possible so that you can get to your goal, your physical end and when I say physical, I don't just mean the way that you look. I also mean your energy level, how you're sleeping at night, how your digestive system's working. Listen to all of those things. Always talk to your body. Always, always, always talk to and communicate with your body and see what it's saying to you. So if, if that's all cool and clean, then you can go ahead and, and have a planned cheat meal, about 500 to 600 calories once a week. That's totally cool too. So clean versus extreme, it all depends, of course, on your goals, where you're at in your journey, and what type of person you are and how it's going to affect your psychology. So as long as you really think out your your game plan, like your action plan with those things in mind, you're going to be golden. You're going to be good to go. If you need any help, of course, comment, and I'll help you out. I'll see you later.